Hello there, patrons. Good morning, and it is before noon. I'm dressed, and we're on our way to town. Hallelujah. <laughs> Speaking of, we're standing on the steps of Tombstone's Episcopal Church, built with some of the ill-gotten gains from the Wyatt Earp family. Built in 1882? Mm-hmm. So here we are, and we're just taking a walk into town today, because there's no parking to be had, so there's no point doing that. We're pretty close to town town, so it's just like a two-block walk. So we get our steps in. And uh, we will have an adult beverage, visit with friends, and we'll vlog with you later. I want to go on a stagecoach ride, but the lines might be long. Yeah. See you down the trail. Happy Helderado. And it's off to town we go. And like all other Helderado weekends, this one is no exception in that it is probably the busiest tourist weekend of the year for the city of Tombstone. And there's no parking to be had. And there are lines outside of restaurants. The boardwalk is crowded. Overall, a great situation for the merchants, and eh, not so much for others, but hey, we make it work. So what is Helderado? Helderado is not a swear word. It's actually an event that was started by the city fathers in the 1920s when they wanted to have some sort of a homecoming celebration. All the early pioneer families from the city of Tombstone would get together and they would actually recreate the gunfight. Yes, you know, the Earps gunfight. Ah, yes. Wearing original clothing because they weren't considered antiques then. No, it was just old stuff. So, yes, and just to add a little context, the year was 1929. And at that point, the city of Tombstone was the county seat for Cochise County but they were threatening to move it to Bisbee, which had a bigger population at the time. Uh, quite frankly, Tombstone was economically declining. Street. We're in front of the beautiful Birdcage Theater. Yep, on the upper part of Allen Street. 